All right, everybody, welcome back to My Pop Sports' Grandy. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. A lot of things have changed, you guys. So uh, just kind of give you guys a heads up. This is going to be probably my last video for a while. Uh, the past couple, I think, weeks, uh, I'm actually am moving. I'm moving my family cross country, guys. I'm going from central Iowa to the Denver metro area of Colorado. So um, my fam my my in-laws are all out there. Uh it's time for my wife to be closer to her family, you know, my kids to be able to be closer to uh their mom's side of family. Give them a, you know, a couple years on that end because I don't know how long I'm going to be out there. We'll we'll see and gives an opportunity like I said for them to to get a chance to to see the world a little bit, you know, instead of being stuck here in Iowa. Uh so I am still going to be doing these card things. I'll, we'll talk about that in a second here. And I'm going to just going to be doing it out there. Uh, that's the the benefit of selling sports cards for living online, guys. You're I can I'm flexible. Uh, I'm going to have time to be able to still continue list cards, still uh, ship out cards on a daily basis, basis while I'm actually still packing. So that's the kind of cool thing uh, that I'm able to do. However, content stuff. The reason why I won't be able to record is because I'm going to be in the midst of packing all that stuff. Uh, this I'm, camera, all this shit's all going to get packed up. My lights and everything's all going to get packed up. So I'm not going to have time to be able to record. It's good, probably going to be, I, I want to say maybe another month uh, before I'll be able to do a video. I might, I might probably do some shorts here and there when I can. I might be able to see if I can sl uh, slip in a, a couple podcasts and everything in there, so make sure you guys check that out. Uh, I did start the the Mafia Sports podcast, so I'm going to try to be able to see if I can do it once a week on that. Um, but everything else, it's going to be so hard for me to be able to record and edit and take care of the kids and pack and all that stuff. So just, just kind of give you guys a hit up. It's not going anywhere. It's just going to be put on hold for several weeks as I'm moving everything, packing up the whole house. And imagine packing for four kids a wife me all my toys all that shit it's a lot of stuff guys and all my sports cards you can just imagine so it's gonna take some time for me to move everything so uh be patient stay tuned it's gonna be better i, I think i want to have a lot more time to be able to do more content for you guys uh in the long run on this so i should be able to focus more on that uh, recording you know everything in regards to the sports card world so just kind of give you a heads up we'll give you guys an update how I, how i'm doing currently uh i reached my goal of trying to be over seven thousand listings on ebay so that's a good thing uh finally reached that point and i'm i'm I've seen an in, uh, I guess, an increase in sales, which is a good thing. Uh, I feel like it's just a numbers thing. Obviously, having more inventory is always a good uh, sign. Different types of inventory. I've been picking up a lot of uh, just unique inventory. I wouldn't say nothing high end. You guys are, in, if you guys have followed me long enough, um, I don't do anything quite high end. I can't risk that. Uh, what I'm trying to do and everything. So I do everything probably mid to low end, uh, but I have been moving quite a bit of the the lower unique types of cars, which is kind of cool, uh, whether stars or guys who were stars, Hall of Famers, uh, things like that. And then just low end, what I've you know been moving quite a bit of low end autos, which is a good thing and just kind of moving that. Uh, you know, I and I price everything pretty competitively as much as I can on eBay. Um, I try not to be the super lowest guy, but I also try to be the highest gouger guy. I try to find the happy medium whenever I can. Uh, and I've been doing this for almost two months now, guys. So um, I'm still I still haven't fired myself, as I keep saying. Uh, what I did, did notice, though, is that I have to ramp this up. This has to be ramped up. I say that. Uh, for cost of living wise, how much I, you know, I'm bringing in, how much I'm paying for inventory, all that stuff. Uh, I'm not going to quite break it down, all the, the juicy numbers. And I, everybody wants to see the juicy numbers. Uh, it, you know, in reality, it, it's what you feel comfortable living because everybody has a different lifestyle. You know, how, how extravagant you want to live and how much you should be making or how frugal you live and, you know, or, or you know, things like that, what you spend money on. So it really depends on the person, you know, what, amount is good enough for you but what i felt for me you know raising a family of four uh obviously my wife's full-time work and everything on top of that so that helps you know uh in regards to the insurance side so if you guys are wondering like okay how is he freaking able to do this shit raising the kids having insurance see this is the thing uh a lot of people need to know is that 
I have a wife, significant other who has, you know, health insurance uh, for the whole family and able to cover that. So that's a huge burden off my shoulders. And that's why I'm able to take this risk and sell sports cars for a living is because, you know, to my beautiful wife, thank you so much for allowing me to be able to to see if I can make this dream come true. Um, I know it's going to be a struggle. And I told her it's going to be a struggle for the first year. I I, I just need to, to grow, whether it's this channel, whether to grow, um, you know, my eBay store platform, selling stuff on, you know, on Facebook. I'll talk about that too in a second. And uh, selling stuff on whatnot and and everything else so i i'm trying to grind you know i'm grinding every day and then on top of that like i said it you know it's a benefit having a significant other who has that life insurance that can make this possible that uh you know sh anything should happen knock on wood uh in a sense we're covered on that and that's that's one thing just to let everybody know i'm i'm gonna be upfront with you guys if if i didn't have my wife didn't have uh insurance or you know benefits things like that would i have done this and be able to do this with my family no planes freaking simple guys i would not risk that shit for nothing uh you know my family if, if, if i didn't have a little bit of a uh, you know a safety net so if i didn't have that no i would not guys if i didn't have her you know having that ability to be able to do that so with that said, that's why I took the leap and we'll see if I can still make this happen. Um, right now, as I said, you know, number sales are there. Uh, I did. I, I want to say since I've jumped to this full time sales has probably about tripled almost on average daily basis. So I think my goal was to reach anywhere between 50 to 100 sales daily, uh, hopefully by the end of the year or you know sometime next year. I don't know if I'm going to reach that uh sales daily i'm probably anywhere in the range of 20 between 20 and 30 right now so um you know i was getting about five to seven sales when i was just doing this part-time every day so now i ramped it up doing this full-time you know i got my listings up uh doing whatnot and all that stuff so i'm anywhere between about 20 to 30 sales on average daily uh and then i'm hoping i'm you know crossing my fingers by the end of this year uh i i can hopefully i was hoping to be at about 100 sales a day i don't think i'm going to be there um but if i can double where i am now so if i can get up to about fifth between 50 ish 50 to 60 sales a day, uh, I think that would be a great stepping stone. And it's baby steps, guys. 100%, you know, I'm, you know, when I first did it, I was like, holy shit, you know, is this going to work? I hope so. Numbers are there. I hope it's going to work. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm, I'm you know, I, at least I saw an increase. So that, at least that means my productivity is grown. So that's a good thing. Now, I just got to find a way to, to expedite that faster better smarter more efficient so i'm still finding ways to do that guys so uh we'll go into more detail when i move to my new place uh i'll probably do a little bit more videos maybe some behind the scenes if i get things set up just kind of show you guys how i do things and uh whether it's right or wrong who knows but but like i said guys so that's that's where i'm at i am with those numbers and another thing i'm slowly doing because i have a facebook account obviously just my personal and i've been selling on that too guys so that's one thing that you know i slowly i, I told you guys I'm, I'm just doing two i was doing ebay and i was doing whatnot you know uh, online and then you know local shows obviously but I've actually a little bit stepped into the Facebook world again, uh, selling cards, and I'm going to ramp that up too a little bit, I think, uh, at least for the higher end stuff, or not the higher end, at least the mid tier end stuff, I think that's what I'm going to do, uh, so, you know, every, every, every stream avenue, revenue streams, Oof, can't even talk, but helps, so, like I said, guys, that's where I'm at, doing good. I, I, I want to do better. I have to I have to be patient. You know, that's the biggest thing that I have to understand. I have to be patient that this takes time to build up my listing. It takes time to build up my following. It takes time to build everything up. So I can't, you know, we're, we're all impatient. We all want to see the instant gratification, sales, 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 or, you know, get the business up and running and, and, and you're making, you know, $100,000 a year. Oh, that's that would be a dream, guys. Uh, I'm not there. <laughs> not even close. 
Uh, I hope so one day. I hope I can build it to be something like that. It would be kind of cool. If not, if, if I could just make just enough to make sustainable living, I think I'm okay with that too. So that's just my goals. You know, uh, I am somewhat ambitious. I want to grow this channel. I would love to grow it. So if you guys know be, anybody who wants to follow me in the sports card, you know, business that what I'm looking to do, let them share let them know subscribe all that stuff and then also on top of that i talk sports check out this freaking podcast guys i'm gonna run this podcast guys as soon as i move i'm gonna i'm gonna really focus on that it's fun to me i want to get more people uh hopefully i can get some guests and stuff on so it's kind of cool i talk sports 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 betting sports cars all that bullshit. uh fun times guys so other than that man i appreciate you guys i just wanted to check in let you guys know stay tuned uh don't go away too far don't go away too long guys i apologize it's just gonna be a hiatus for several weeks as i move and like i just said i will be back and hopefully better there you guys go man cheers everybody stay safe and uh don't forget still you can stack check out my freaking ebay stores you know help a brother out go buy a dollar card man tons of them on there all right cheers till next time like this shit subscribe